Hi, and welcome to Scandalous Stories, the only news station bringing you all the inside scoop in Ventura County. I'm your head anchor, Dominique Wright. And I'm your co-anchor, Dagmar Potter. Our first story of the night, vaping. As of this afternoon, Moorpark has declared they are creating an intro to vape class. This new class was created by a petition from the Vape Club, which got a whopping 200 signatures from its members. The intro to vape class will teach students about the vape life and begin in the spring semester to come. Wow, fascinating story. Kids do love their vape. <laughs> <laughs> Vending machines, the place to buy your quick, greasy snacks. But wait, what's this? Moorpark College has decided to completely change its snacks for the vending machines. They have decided to go vegan. Yes, you heard it here, folks. The school will now be filling machines with vegan foods only. So say goodbye to your delicious knockoff Oreos and say hello to wholesome organic vegan kale chips. Wow, vegan food. Who doesn't love it? Everyone. <laughs> That's right, everyone. Okay, now we're going into the field with Lorenzo Francisco. Vegan food. Ugh. Thank you. This is Lorenzo. And we're out here at Moore Park College trying to get some witnesses and some uh, friends that maybe watched or heard about this scandalous act that Preston Peters did. All right, let's go interview them right now. I mean, I saw him just walk out of the door and go to his car and I was like, there's no way. It, it's Preston, I've seen him before and I cannot believe that he would do something like this. So I'm in shock, I don't know what to think. Preston murders children, shoves them into his van. He's scary, he talks weird. I just met Preston and he seemed like a nice guy. He was easy to talk to. He was a fun guy to hang out with in class but when I walked to the parking lot that day, that Friday afternoon, I didn't know that he had it in him. It just shocked me. God damn, Preston, if I had to pick anyone to be the worst person in all of Moore Park College, it would be you. Honestly, like, how could someone so handsome and ravishing just be so terrible in literally every possible way? I've met SoundCloud rappers who are, have more integrity than you. Preston? You mean geeky Preston with sunglasses all the time, right? All right, all right. Well, the <laughs> only thing I've, I've seen him do is he ate a whole cheeseburger. Like one bite. It was crazy. It's, that's it. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Be calm! Be calm! Preston Peters, I never would have guessed. I know, right? Who would have thought he could eat a hamburger in one bite? Oh, disgusting. Now we'll be going to commercial. We'll see you when we return. Yep. Have you ever felt lonely eating by yourself? No matter what situation, at home or out in public, it is never fun to eat alone. Well, that problem can be solved with Forkshire, the animated silverware that makes you feel like less of a loner. You can eat with ease and also have a friend that won't judge you for stuffing your mouth. Goodbye, boredom, and welcome to the Forkshire. Forkshire comes in three different versions, but are still the best of company. Hello and welcome back. A new law was announced today in re regards to college professors' salaries. Uh, the new law now makes it mandatory for schools to pay college professors a minimum of $100,000 per school year. The reasoning behind this law is fairly simple. Professors should be getting paid better, as was evident by the Union of Community College Professors' speech this past weekend. Shoot, with that new law, I might just become a professor myself. <laughs> and now we go to our weather person, Selena Regalado. Hey everyone, the weather around here has been drastic to say the least. In Camarillo, it's a beautiful day at 77 degrees. The same cannot be said here in Moore Park, where it's a scorching 129 degrees. Wow, that is hot. And in Ojai, it seems to be the exact opposite at 129 degrees below Fahrenheit. How is that even possible? One word, global warming. Back to you guys. Global warming. <laughs> thank you for the weather report, Selena. Yes, thank you. Our last story of the night is a fun one. Moorpark College has just announced that it will be hosting next year's Coachella. Yes, you heard that right. Everyone's favorite outdoor music festival will now be right here on campus next spring. And to make it even better, Moorpark College students get in for free. It just sounds too good to be true. 
Yeah, I mean, I it really does. I mean, I don't know um, who would be headlining. I mean, who would you think would be headlining? I mean, those kids that sang the Hamilton song. Maybe, maybe Drake if we're lucky. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> Drake singing Hopefully. Hamilton songs. Oh, mm -hmm. even better. I would love that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, that is all we have. Good night.